and welcome back to the channel and on this video I've got a really good deal for you that I found if you're looking to buy an e-bike a flat tire e-bike I found a really good deal that is knock you off your chair kind of deal I couldn't believe it when I saw this I still kind of don't believe it um, but anyway here it goes it is the Brad Rover 6 plus that's the newest Brad Rover so if you're not familiar with the Rad Rover 6 Plus, I'll run down some of the uh, some of the specs on it in just a moment, but I'll give you the price that I saw it for. So the bike normally sells for uh, $20.99, and I found a deal for that bike for $799.99. So let's just round it off and say $800 and the normal regular price is $2,100. So that's a $1,300 savings and um, if you are interested in that bike, I don't know how long the sale is on for, but on this website they have... Um, they have the uh, different options that I'll tell you in just a second. But anyway, the link I'm going to post in the description of this video. So it comes in, first of all, I'll tell you what it comes in. It comes in the high step or the step through version, depending on which one you want. Take your pick. A, let's see, two colors. You can pick charcoal or white. And then uh, some of the uh, specs on that bike would be uh, it's a 750 watt motor uh, that's a 48 volt the battery is 48 volt 14 amp hour not bad uh, the tires are 26 by 4 inch Kenda juggernaut tires and I got to tell you that on my bike I have a Rad Rover I have the Rad Rover 4 I have never had a flat tire on my Rad so uh, just so you know um, now it could be luck I don't know what it is but I have not had a flat I've had one flat on the Grizzly here but never a flat on that um, Rad so anyway uh, some of the other things would be it comes with a, a headlight tail light it does have a brake light. Of course, the seat is adjustable to whatever height you want. Um, I believe the bike, if I'm remembering here, I believe it weighs a little over 73, like 73.4, I believe it is pounds. So it's a little bit heavier than my, than my older Rad Rover. It might be about seven pounds. Uh, let's see, it's got hydraulic disc brakes. It's got a front suspension, no rear suspension. I'm trying to think if there's anything else it has that I should mention. If you want to get the full specs, uh, that link that I gave you there, they'll have a they have a good rundown on all the specs that the bike, uh, um, you know, has. If you want to be a little more specific on things, but that's a general, you know, that's the ones that most people want to know, you know, as the battery and motor and all that. But um, I can vouch for the, those bikes being really good. I mean, I have myself. It was my first ever electric bike, and if you're getting into the electric bike um crowd or group with the rest of us that's a great starter bike that was my first like i say and i've had very good luck with it never had an issue the only issue i have is that and this is going to happen you know no matter what bike you ride is the tire the rear tire is going to need replacing shortly and that's the only 
that's the only real thing that's going on with that bike I mean I've ridden it in rain I've ridden it in ice a little bit of snow and uh, I should tell you the story um, about once falling on the bike I've had one fall on my electric bike it was not on the Grizzly here but it was a few years back it was either two or three winters ago I want to say two winters ago I um, ride my uh, e-bikes uh, to work every day and back and one day it was in the uh, winter time like this I uh, was heading off to work in the early morning like we're talking a little after five in the morning and my driveway has a, is a slight slope, not very much of a slope, but a little bit of a slope. And it's not a very long driveway. It's one car length, two cars wide. And uh, so I was coming out of the driveway. And uh, when I come out of the driveway, I turn left. So when I was coming out of the driveway, uh, I didn't realize that there was black ice I, I couldn't tell I didn't have no idea and so when I was turning left out of the driveway you know I was going a little bit a few miles per hour I wasn't going real fast or anything but I um, started to, to go you know and I and, and then the bike went right out from under me and uh, so uh, down I went. I mean, I went down and the bike slid across the road and I, luckily there was no cars around at the time. And so um, I got up, I had a bit of a sore knee there. I can remember for a bit, but it didn't really, it wasn't really that bad, but I, enough to feel it a little bit. But I mean, other than that, I, uh, I was fine and the bike was fine. I picked it up uh, again and the way, it went, the way I went. But from then on, uh, I'm always careful when it's a bit cooler outside. I didn't realize um, the black ice uh, deal, but uh, yeah. So um, you got to be careful. And that, like I say, I was not going very fast at all. I was going just a few, you know, three or four miles per hour, not very fast at all. I didn't even hit hit the throttle or the uh, pedals. I had just coasted out, you know, with a little bit of a slope that the driveway has. Um, that was enough to get me going without hitting any throttle or uh, pedaling. And so uh, down I went, but I was fine. That's the only time that I have fallen off the bike, uh, this bike or the other bike. So uh, yeah, if you're interested in that bike, I mean, I don't, I can't believe that deal, you know. And I, it almost makes you want to buy another bike, even though you don't really need one. I already have that model, just not that particular. I should say I have that bike, just not that model. And uh, but gee, you know, it makes you wonder if you should almost buy it just for the sake of because of the price, you know. I, but here's the, the caveat. I think there is one thing that I should mention. It looks like when I went to their website, uh, it looks like you have to pay shipping and you have to fill out all your info as to, uh, you know, where you live. And so that's going to determine how much shipping you pay, I guess. So, but I did not do that. I didn't go that far to fill it out. I put it in my cart. But then it still wanted me to fill out all the info and I didn't uh, want to take the time to go through and do all that. But you might want to do a mock, uh, if you're really interested in that bike, you might want to do a mock uh, uh, pretend buying just to see how much the shipping is. I did see that they have U.S. Uh, exchange, like they had the option to put it in U.S., Canadian, Europe, or what was the other one? There was one other. I can't remember what the other one was. But So they must sell it to... Uh, different countries so that's pretty cool anyway you might want to take a look at that and the prices I'm quoting of course are US I think Canadian if I remember the Canadian price was 1072 
but don't quote me on that i believe that's what it is but if you go to the site you can change it to whatever uh, currency yours is and, and then uh, see what you would have to pay but gee that's a that's an awesome deal even if you did have to pay shipping unless the shipping is absolutely atrocious uh, uh, amount then uh, that's a that's an awesome deal you know say you had to pay two hundred dollars shipping well even if you tack on two hundred dollars that makes it 9.99 that's that's pretty darn good i mean like i say the regular price for that bike is $2,100 so I would uh, take a look at that if you're interested in a Rad Rover 6 Plus or for that matter if you're interested in any e-bike fat tire especially that which this is that's under a thousand dollars this is it I mean this is an awesome deal this is probably the best deal I've seen yet on a bike um, so yep I would definitely be looking into that and uh, so just just for uh, to let you know when I'm recording this so you know when I when this uh, when I saw this deal now I don't know like I say how long it's gonna run so I will give you the the uh, current uh, date here so we're uh, I'm recording this on Saturday January 28th in the afternoon late afternoon like about three o'clock and and so that's when this is being recorded so uh you know if you want the if you want that deal you might want to go grab it while you can and uh, because i don't know like i say how long it'll last but anyway an awesome deal check it out i got the link in the description if you uh, would like to leave a comment on this or any other video go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below if you like this video hit the like button if you would like to subscribe go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified as to when uh, the next video does come up on the channel we've been putting up a lot of videos lately just about one a day if not every day then it's going to be every other day so uh, look for that tell your friends about us and once again, thank you for joining me today on this video, and until next time, take care.